Welcome everyone to a brand new reaction video. It's me, your host Dark, and you saw exactly what this video is gonna be all about. We're back again reacting to a video by Secret Forest Studio, another FNAF animation. FNAF stands for Five Nights at Freddy's for the people who didn't know for some reason, you know, just one of the most popular horror games of all times. The video we're gonna be reacting to today is called FNAF Movie Puppet Story. So this title kind of makes me think that this video is gonna be all about Bruh. puppet, you know, the creepy French puppet from I don't know why I feel like he's French. He's dressed like he's French. That's I kind of get that vibe before we get straight into the reacting Make sure you guys leave a like right now. We're gonna try to hit 20,000 likes on this video I know that's a lot. I'm not sure if we can actually hit that but hey, I'm aiming high baby So let's try to get 20k likes on this video And of course don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well So you don't miss any future videos now. Let's just get straight into reacting so Puppet I wonder if this is gonna be like an origin story. Is it gonna be like a day in the life of, or is it gonna be something completely different? I do see this little intro. Ooh, attention. This movie contains disturbing images, jump scares, explicit violence, and gore. Watch it on your own risk. Hey, what's the worst that could happen? You have been warned. Oh, little, little girls. Now those are scary. There's so many scary horror movies that have like a little girl as the main antagonist. All right, so that newspaper says something about the missing child. Ooh, I wonder if he got taken by Puppet. Once again, guys, I don't know that much about the FNAF lore. I just know the basics, like about the pizzeria, the animatronics, purple guy, spring trap. So hey, I really do want to get into the lore, maybe even play some of the games in the future. So if you guys have any tips on where to start, please, let me know down below in the comment sections. So you know, I have a place to start. I'm sure you guys are actually experts at this stuff, like you usually are, especially compared to me. All right, so this is Fazbear's Pizzeria. So it's open. Because in a lot of stories, the place is actually shut down. Ugh. Oh, these are the actual animatronics. Like during daytime opening hours. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever, ever actually seen this. Ugh. I don't know about y'all, but animatronics are creepy to me. Like, even just real animatronics, not even these that are supposed to be scary. I mean, shoot. What's that one place called that Freddy Fazbear's is obviously a parody of? Chuck E. Cheese! Animatronics at Chuck E. Cheese are creepy. But they're not even supposed to be creepy. Hey, who is this? Is this a security guard? Ugh. That's... Creepy. Why was he smiling like that? <gasps> is this the dude that's been kidnapping kids? Uh oh, and that's a butterfly. Obviously, sting like a butterfly, float like a bee. Oh, they was not lying about jump scares. No, sir. And we all know what a white van means. It means telemarketers that are trying to sell me something. Okay, so obviously this little kid got kidnapped. Why, why are her parents? Wait, so this is this is supposed to be the dude, a uh, purple guy? Is that him? No, this, he's called Anton or something. The guy who turns into Springtrap, right? Or am I wrong? If I say anything that's incorrect, let me know down below in the comment section. That's how I learn. Ooh, is she gonna get away? Honestly, I don't think she will. You know, Fna oh, dude. Stop with the jump scare. She could have grabbed her without the jump scare. Now you, you just scare me. I'm not a little kid. You don't want to have me. Oh, wait, is this another kid? Wait, why, why are all these kids here after opening hours? Where are their parents? How did they end up here? So at this point, the animatronics are still normal animatronics. So they're not possessed by the kids yet. So that means these are the kids that no. possess the animatronics. Wait, what? Huh? Ew, creep. What a creep. So is he called purple guy because he's wearing a purple suit? Makes sense. Okay, that's cool. So this is kind of like the uh, uh, origin story of all the animatronics. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Not even gonna lie. I love a good intro like this. I really do. Episode 2, The Puppet Master. Oh, so this is gonna be a compilation of all the puppet animations he has. Ooh. That's creepy. That's a jump scare coming. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Okay, interesting, interesting. 
So some of these animations don't have any voice acting. So they're kind of like silent movies. Well, obviously you hear like people screaming and stuff. Me and my mom came to this magical place. Oh, she's narrating the story. What a day it was. This is obviously during opening hours. Does Fazbear's Pizzeria not pay the light bill? Why is it so dark? I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. If someone watching right now has ever been to Chuck E. Cheese, please answer one question for me. Is the Chuck E. Cheese this dark as well? Is it like normal for these restaurants to be this dark? Because I feel like a place like that that's obviously targeted towards kids should be bright and cheerful. You know? <laughs> Ooh, oh, I've got... Obviously, they sell pizzas. Joy and laughter were everywhere. Mm. That does not like look like cheers and laughter to me. It was the first time I saw Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, and Foxy. And that's also the last time you ever saw your mother. Oh, <laughs> Is that how messed miraculous up? It all was. What up, Foxy? And then Ooh. You yep, purple guy. See, True I know some of my lore. In the flesh. The huh? devil who kidnapped me. And many others. Wait, so he pretended to be Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. The so that's how he did it. This is actually how it went in the games as well, right? The purple guy. The purple guy. Dude! Why? That was so uncalled for. Maybe I should read the FNAF books. The ball place? And that was the place where you had your secret room. How does he have a secret room in the pizzeria? Shouldn't the owners know about this? Or do they just not care? Ew. Ew. I always knew that people were searching for us. For days and nights, we were screaming and calling for help. So these kids were here in this secret room while other people were like eating pizza and having fun right on the other side of the wall. Now that's kind of messed up. That's so sad. Oh, look, they're even going to show it. Aww. Hoping that someone would wow, hear us. that's so sad. So they did try to search for him. So close yet so far. How do you soundproof this place? Because I need some soundproofing as well. Because you know, no one heard us. I don't want to bother my neighbors anymore. And help never came. Aww. You know that that kind of you know sucks. <laughs> However, oh, that's a gerbil, ger gerbil, ger red. Well, did she? Well, maybe kind of. She, she turned into an animatronic, right? One day, by some miracle, you forgot to lock the door. That's kind of stupid. What kind of kidnapper you are you? Wait, they, you Yet, saw... Our freedom didn't last for long. Huh? Oh, no! Just a part of your sick plan. He did that on purpose. The doors were locked. While you were calmly pursuing and capturing us. Wow, it's like a game for him. That's so messed up. That's mega messed up, dude. Why would you do such a thing? Once again, you locked us in this room of torment and suffering. And when all the other kids lost their hope and accepted their fate... <laughs> you know, I might actually cry, guys. Leave a like to make me and yourself feel better once again we're going for 20,000 likes let me check if we hit that yet no we did it don't even like dude there we have puppet Hatred filled my soul towards you because understandable you had done to us well he was kind of a jerk get out of this room and get my revenge no matter the cost i wonder how she's gonna take revenge my she's stuck soul will not rest until you receive your deserved retribution Ooh. Hours turned to days. Days turned to months. What's he months feeding them? Turned to years. Years. We did not manage to escape, and no one rescued us. Aww. 
that's kind of sad. My body has been long dead. But my soul. But my soul was still alive. Was still alive. She's puppet. The soul which was now driven by only one desire. Revenge. Revenge. Woo! I like this. So how'd she take revenge on him? That's what I want to know right now. And I was not alone. Okay. FNAF lore is actually super interesting to me, even though I suck at the games. Through decades, our souls tried to get me. How'd they get, end up getting him? To He's a mod breeder. A of deaths during this time. Some caused by your actions. And some by ours. So why did they kill innocent people? That's kind of messed up. We became monsters ourselves. Yeah, I'm not getting why. Like monsters who brought horror. Right, they have one death. target. Like, why kill all these other innocent people? That's what I don't get. You thought that you were invincible. Yet with every year, our powers got stronger. Who's this? Is that him? We're getting older and weaker. And so how are they gonna get him? But wait, how did they manage to get him? Did he still work at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria? Or did the animatronics somehow manage to escape the pizzeria without being seen, kill him, and then return? Does anybody know the answer to that? Or maybe Purple Guy went there to try and, you know, I don't know, burn the animatronics or something? Please, guys, if y'all have any idea how that happened, obviously you know how it happened. Y'all know everything about FNAF. Let me know down below in the comment section. Spring trap. But that's Only not the end. To laugh in the face of death when you tortured and killed others. Ooh, that looks painful. Yet now, when you face the death yourself, where is that smile? Well, you can't see him smile because he got the animatronic suit on. There is only Ooh, fear there we go, puppet. And while your body is bleeding out. And you are almost at the last breath. I finally feel that that's a lot of cranberry juice. In peace. At last, mm. we are free. Obviously, purple guy wasn't done killing though. Never find peace. Did they really make it better? And suffering awaits you. And the dungeon you created for others will become your prison from now on. Hmm. But Springtrap ended up causing a lot of trouble also. So... What's the deal with that? Okay, so it does look like he tried to fight the animatronics. So that's how they got him, I guess. So why didn't he just stay away from Fazbear's Pizzeria? Was he busy kidnapping other kids? That makes sense, you know. Can't just quit your day job like that. This is cool. This is cool. Mm, okay, guys. So she was the puppet. Was actually a girl. Wait, what's this? Is that a cop? Or a guard? Uh-oh. That's not the last we're gonna hear of Springtrap. Huh? What? Is that another cop? Or what? Yeah, so he found where the kids were, were uh, you know, locked up in. Wait, who was the other person with the weapon? That's spring trap. Very disturbing. But the other weapon, who was that? Dude, the suspense is literally killing me right now. Oh, 
Oh, those are the kids. Aww. They're like barbecue chicken. Poor kids. There's Puppet. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just happened. Okay, but who was the other person with... Ugh. Who was the other person with the gun? Come on. And even though our story is about to be over, this nightmare is far from its end. Who is that? The worst is yet to come. What? No, it's not a cliffhanger. It's a cliffhanger. You gotta be kidding me. Obviously, there's more to the story than just this video. They ended it on a cliffhanger. I really don't know what happened there. Who else was there at Fazbear's Pizzeria? But it's killing me. I gotta know. So please, guys, if you do know, let me know down below in the comment section. And if you want me to react to some more Secret Force Studio, please let me know which videos I should react to next. I'm gonna leave a link to their channel down below in the description, obviously, with the link to, you know, all their videos and that. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed my reaction. If you did, once again, leave a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and hopefully I will see all of you next time. But in the meantime, check out my other videos by clicking here or here. Dark, signing out.